Hi, Divine Savior. Uh, happy Friday. Happy Ice Day uh, here in Liberty Hill. Pretty crazy uh, this winter that we're having, but uh, I hope you're enjoying your day off, and I hope you enjoy a nice long weekend. And I hope you start your weekend uh, with a chapel message here from this week. How many of you right now uh, could use a snack? Maybe some of you, maybe all of you. Uh, and if you were here, I would give you this. Oh, I'm covering the H. A Heath bar. But here's the thing. I only have one of them. And so I don't think it's going to feed all of us. I don't think it's going to satisfy us. Uh, I suppose I could probably cut off some edges and all of us have just a very tiny little taste. Uh, but that's really not going to uh, cure your hunger. It's not going to satisfy the hunger in your stomach. Uh, it would be really great if I could just like multiply these things and so that the whole room up to the ceiling would just be filled with Heath bars. Then all of you could just come over to my office, uh, pick a Heath bar as many as you want, and be fine. Unfortunately, I can't do that. <laughs> but Jesus can. Uh, and Jesus has done something like that before. And that's what I want to tell you about today. One day, Jesus and his disciples were out in a, a remote place, uh, off away from the village, off away from the towns. And they're out in the countryside. And Jesus is preaching and teaching to people. Uh, in fact, 5,000 people. And he's preaching all afternoon. And as it was getting towards night, his disciples came to him and said, Jesus, uh, it's getting to be dark. And we're in a remote place. We need to send these people home uh, because they're going to get hungry. They've already missed dinner. They need something to eat. And Jesus said, well, you feed them. And his disciples said, all we have is five loaves of bread and two fish. That is not going to go very far with a crowd of 5,000 people. And Jesus looked out at the people and he had compassion on them. And he said, bring me the food. And so they brought, they brought him the food. He blessed it, said a prayer of thanks. And then said, start handing them out. And as they took that basket with the two fish and the five loaves of bread, and as the disciples started passing out, the food in the basket kept coming and coming and coming. And pretty soon, all 5,000 people ate. Not just a little corner, but ate until they were satisfied. There was so much food so much fish and so much bread that there were 12 basketfuls left over. That is how amazing of a miracle Jesus did. So what's this mean for you and me? There's two things that we take away from this. Number one is that Jesus has compassion on us. He cares about our physical needs. He cares when you hurt. He cares when you cry. He cares when you're hungry, when you're thirsty. He cares when you're hurting. He cares when you're uncomfortable. He cares. He has compassion on you. In fact, our Jesus not only has compassion for you, he empathizes with you. Our God isn't a God that, that keeps himself up in heaven and doesn't know and can't relate to us. No, he took on human flesh like you and me to relate to you and me. He knows what it's like to feel hunger. He knows what it's like to feel pain. He knows what it's like to be sick. He knows what it's like to hurt, and he has compassion on you. And then number two, our God provides. He provided for the people there as he fed them with the food. He may not provide that type of miracle for you in your life, but my guess is if you open up your pantry, he's provided a lot of food for you. He provides in different ways than, than just multiplying food. He, he provides rain that waters the ground, that then the farmers plant the seed and the seed takes root and grows. He provides a farmer to harvest that crop. He provides grocery stores to sell that crop. He provides you with jobs and your parents with jobs uh, so that you can buy food and stock your house. These are natural means, but these this is the way that Jesus provides for you and me. He has compassion on us. He provides for us. And then he provides the ultimate uh, thing that we need. And that's, of course, a savior. Jesus not only cares about our physical needs, 
but he cares about our spiritual needs. He cares about the forgiveness of sins, about peace with God, about eternal glory, where we won't have any of these hunger, pains, or thirst, where we won't have any of those needs. All of them will be met in heaven. And that's ultimately what Jesus came to win for you and me. And so as you feel, as you feel that hunger pain today, as you look in your pantry over the weekend, remember, Jesus cares about our needs. He fills those needs, and he will fill them forever in heaven. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you that you care about us. We thank you that you provide for us, and we thank you that you provide eternally for us. Thank you for sending Jesus uh, to take on human flesh so that you, God, can relate to us. You know what it's like to be hungry. You know what it's like to hurt. And then you also uh, provide for us. We thank you for your grace that does that. We thank you for your, your grace, your mercy that provides for us eternally. Be with us this weekend and help us to always remember uh, that you love us and that you provide for us. In your name we pray. Amen.